Along with that, we added a santur. And then after that, we added a tumbi just to keep pushing it a little bit. So. Play it together, then this is what it sounds like. Along with this, um, uh, which everyone likes, is the flutes. Hi guys, this is Rishabh from Lost Stories, and you're watching Mashable Tour Force. So Bombay Dreams or the working title was called HTN means Hoya Tere Naal. We started the idea somewhere around in 2014. We had the news that we might be playing Tomorrowland the next year, which was 2015. We wanted to have a few songs in our arsenal that sounded a little bit different from the rest of the 300 artists playing at Tomorrowland. We reached out to Kavita Sethji, who sent us two vocals. One of them was Mahi, and the second one was Hoya Tere Naal, and that was a slightly difficult one. The original vocal. Was a proper like a shadi song at 136 BPM. Took the vocal, I pitched it down to like you know 12 semitones. If you listen to what we have done to Kavita Ji's vocals, it's not gonna be pleasant, but yeah, I mean. So I mean, yeah, then that goes into a build up. That was the initial version of Bombay Dreams. Everyone liked it. Uh, Prayag liked it. Ayushman liked it. Everyone on the team liked it. But then they said that this is not going to float with Kavita Ji because uh, what I've done to a vocal is a cardinal sin. We sent it to Kavita Ji, and she was obviously like, "Yeah, आपने क्या कर दिया मेरे vocals के साथ?" This is the second possible version of Bombay Dreams. This idea does not have any flute. It does not have any embellishments that came on, you know, during the later stages. So I'm going to play it for you. <laughs> that disgusting voice you heard in the end was my voice a lot of people don't know this in the final song uh, this part is sung by zaden i wrote um, the lyrics myself and i did not have the last line of it which was called um, i'll find a way to make you stay i told him i'm struggling with this last line and he as generous as that he is he came over he not only sang the song but he also helped us with the most iconic line of the song so th these are zaden's vocals um But the fate of the song, the future of the song changed when we met Kashmir. They sent me the initial idea. I thought it was amazing. Saw all the potential from starting with that vocal, building the flute around it, the drop. Like really, it was important to me that the pattern of the flute was supported by the bass and the drum elements. So you end up with the. So even though it's not an intense EDM drop. It still has this emphasis on every other quarter note, I guess. And to get that grooving right, you, you think it would be simple, but <laughs> it was really hard. So the next uh, challenge for the song was the melody. Uh, we had the the groove of the drop, but we did not have a melody. Obviously, we are too attached to the original version because we have been listening to it, playing it out. So to come up with this melody and to come up with something very simple, it's always a task. What we usually do is we try to compose it uh, using samples, and then we send it to the instrumentalist. So this is how we the original uh, melody sounded like. Ooh. 
doesn't sound that great but like the idea was there the juice of the drop is obviously the drums and the very like percussive uh, drums and like you can play this song in a bollywood movie no problem because they are just like so alive so this is what the drums sound like and then when we add like the bass line and this is what the the guitar sound like they are pretty like chopped guitars it's like really chopped and really uh, staccato and has like a lot of transient to it along with this um, uh, which everyone likes is the flutes shout out to shriram sampat for absolutely nailing the composition little thing that uh, you know i added uh, right before the drop was this flute flutter so these kind of things um, to me are like you know like it's like my playground and i love playing with like small things that you know maybe people won't even hear but like i dream that one day i'll do a breakdown and i'll tell them about this so so this flutter adds like you know a little bit of energy right before the drop so and if i would play it without it just a little bit of push to into the drop that okay just like enjoy the drop now while we making this song we had the drop section ready but we did not know how to lead the drop into the uh, second verse so there was this empty section we had nothing there and now this is my second favorite part of the song um the saz part and this is what it sounds like <laughs> So the way this came about was um, project file was open one evening and Ayushman my manager and Prayag my partner we were having a meeting outside in the hall and I was involved in that meeting but the project file was open here and at the back of my head like I was like I need to connect this, these two parts so they were talking I came in and I just played like this melody that you hear on on my qwerty keyboard and as soon as I finished playing it I could hear like these guys at outside they're like what did you just play you know please 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 put it in the song so that's how it ended up in 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 this uh, particular arrangement along with that we added a santur and then after that we added a tumbi just to keep pushing it a little bit so play it together then this is what it sounds like and then there's one more element which was again like a very last minute um, addition to to the whole song as you can see the the track name is called road number 12 which is where i live so obviously um uh, you you know what's coming um this is what Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's my voice and uh, like very difficult to spot <laughs> in this, but obviously it has like a lot of effects. I can play it to you without like the the pitch effect. <laughs> I'm not going to play it without auto tune. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, I I think like this was again um, it enhanced the whole sass section. So now you, if you hear it together, so it's almost as if the instrument is talking because it's in the same pitch. Uh, the the music video for Bombay Dreams is such an iconic music video. Uh, everyone who's seen it loves it, and everyone. Um, uh connects with it in so many ways the initial idea may have come from um both prayag and i i really wanted akshat to be in the song and as, as soon as we got to know what kind of budgets we are dealing with i'm like boss we have to get akshat for this and jugad motion pictures in like in a day they delivered they're like okay akshat is locked and that was one of the 
happiest days for this song for this track to work out the way it did was a dream come true and then we've added like a few small ear candy is what we call it something like this so this is just to enhance the vocals or something like you know 